Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I sound a little funny right now because um, I'm finally coming down from having a cold. Lucas and I were sick all, all of last week and I'm so happy we are both finally starting to feel better. It is Monday, so I guess that's a good way to start off the week is not feeling sick anymore. Um, but I definitely still sound sick. I'm still a little sick and so is Lucas, but we're definitely a hundred times better than we were at the beginning of last week. You guys can tell what this video is going to be about just by the title of the video and um, Stephen is the one that actually really encouraged me to film this video. I'm sure some of you guys have noticed like my absence on YouTube um, and just not really uploading and that really has sucked because I really enjoy filming and editing and just the whole process and sharing um, my life with you guys but lately that's just been seeming like a very impossible task so while I do my makeup and I get ready Lucas is napping right now um, I'm gonna just catch you guys up on life on my life on what's been going on post-military um, career change school um, I guess even maybe social media I don't know just like everything that's been on my heart um, my faith my journey and my faith currently um yeah and house hunting like just literally anything you could possibly think of um we're gonna talk about in today's video and i want to keep this very chill and um enjoyable and so i don't know how long this video is gonna be i'm gonna try to be really good about um not having to do so many cuts um, and edits because hearing myself speak over and over and over again just like, repetitively is just really annoying when editing. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make this uh, very smooth and chill and hopefully you guys have like a nice little cup of coffee. If you guys don't, maybe pause the video, go get yourself a little cup of coffee, tea, whatever you like. And yeah, and oh, we're just going to chat today. So the look I'm doing today is actually the same exact look I did in Vegas. I actually really enjoyed that makeup look and I've been doing it anytime I do my makeup and I just realized that it looks really pretty even on the day to day. This is what I've really been enjoying putting on my face. So let's do that. I started off with my master primer. This is a drugstore product I've been using forever because it hydrates my skin. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and I do my eyeshadow you know what, instead of like talking about all of the makeup things, since I already basically did a tutorial on it, um, I'll just have that link to that video up here in the suggestion box because I don't want to be repetitive. That's not what the video's about. It's not a makeup tutorial. <sighs> okay, you guys, I don't even know where, where to start. Um, maybe I'll just start by telling you guys. Um, we, as far as house hunting goes, that has been a very stressful conversation every time that we try to look for an area it's just really expensive in California it's really expensive out here and I've had a couple of you guys reach out to me and just ask me like how like our experience has been um, post-military Stephen transitioning out of the military the fact that we decided to move back into the most one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive, state in America. Um, California is just ridiculous and super unaffordable. Um, that has definitely caused us a lot of stress, and I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. The reason that we decided to do that, to move here, even though we knew it was super expensive, is because we wanted Lucas to at least be with family the first couple years of his life, even if we decided somewhere along the line that we weren't gonna this isn't gonna be our forever home like being here in california and i look a little crazy right now but you guys just wait and see wait and see what i'm about to do <clears throat> i'm gonna go in with my bronzer that's gonna be my eyeshadow little hack but yeah um the process has been extremely stressful and honestly at most of the times we both just feel super super let down um and yes, we have questioned if we have made the right decision, and we always, of course, come to the conclusion that although we are in a very difficult season of just, what's, what's the word that I used, um, 
uncertainty. I made a little post about this on my Instagram. Um, just a season of uncertainty. We both know that in the end, this was and what will be the best for our family. Um, for several reasons, several factors. Um, but yeah, so Stephen and I have had conversations like every single day about moving, where we're going to live, how we're going to make it work, and you guys know I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I'm sure some of you guys are curious as to, like, how the heck we're doing that. Like, how are we going to make it work with one income in California? Because that's kind of, like, unheard of. Um, and the truth is, the honest truth is when making a decision like that, you have to really ask yourself like the type of lifestyle you're willing to do and live um and a lot of sacrifices come with that Stephen and i think it's really important that i'm a stay-at-home mom and i've 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 described this being a stay-at-home mom is very much a luxury as it is a sacrifice and I know some of you guys won't agree with that. That's okay. That's okay to have a different opinion. And that's not me be and that's not me saying me being a stay-at-home mom is any harder or easier than someone who is a like working mom, leaving the house, going to work, doing all that business. That's not what I'm saying when I say being a stay-at-home mom is just as equally a sacrifice as it is a blessing. Um I think some of you can kind of relate to what I'm trying to say, but um, I just don't want my words to get uh, misinterpreted, I guess, is what I'm trying to do. But it, uh, it's been difficult, and I definitely, because of it, have had a lot of guilt because, you know, with the one single income, affordability just keeps going down. Like, the type of, you know, house or apartment that we could afford if we were dual income would be completely different. We'd be in a completely different space. Um, but yeah, there's just been a lot of sacrifice that comes along with that. And with that said, um, Stephen has been considering, and he's actually going through the process of a career change. I don't like to talk so much about like his career and his business because my husband's very private in that way. Um, but I can share with you guys that he is trying to go through a career change, something that he's never considered doing before in the past, like, just something completely new. I've been praying, <laughs> I've been praying to the Lord constantly, like, like, please, Lord, like, help guide Stephen to what he is meant to do. Um, is this the right decision, you know, like, or is it just us feeling like this is the only option? And we've had to ask ourselves those hard questions like, are you doing this because you feel like it's the only option for our family or because you truly do want to do it? And thankfully, he's come to the conclusion it is something that he feels like is pulling at his heart anytime he tries to ignore it. And so that brings me a sort a sense of comfort to know that. I know I'm being super vague when I tell you guys that too, like, because you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, and I hope you guys, ex like, respect that privacy, too. That's what we've been discussing lately, and on top of that, you know, I also shared this <clears throat> on my Instagram, one of my posts, one of my recent posts about how I, you know, really want another baby, and we both really want another baby, but with our current situation and circumstance like that's kind of undoable um especially when we don't know where we're going to be living at the moment um you know it's crazy because you see the majority of people on instagram like buying a new house um either a new build or they're like completely renovating and doing all of these projects all at once they're pregnant with their second kid and in your mind at least for me I've been feeling like how the heck how the heck are people doing this like how 
Um, it's just such an expensive world out there. And I just want to let you guys know that that's not how my life is going. And I hope that you can find some comfort and relatability, is that a word? <laughs> um, through me and my journey with that because that is not our journey and you guys want to know something so crazy it kind of chokes me up every time i talk about it <sighs> especially while we were in germany especially while we were in germany i prayed so hard to the lord that he would help me connect to other people and to use my platform in a way that would help bring comfort to someone I feel like I'm going overboard with my eyeshadow. Um, bring them comfort and peace through my journey. Um, and I just, I just really wanted to help people. Like that's really why I started my platform. At first it started with the military community. And that aspect was like, I just really wanted to help people. But I've heard this countless of times. Be careful what you pray to the Lord because the way he answers those prayers may not exactly be the way that you, like, thought he would answer them. Um, if anything, he might bring <clears throat> more struggle into your life because it's necessary in order to um, give you what he believes you need. Not necessarily want, but need. And I've just been accepting that more and more. And now that we're on the topic of faith, um, I had a little like breakdown <laughs> yesterday, Sunday morning. Um, it had something to do with school. Thankfully, that's all resolved and I'm feeling much better about that. However, I had a really big breakdown and I just started crying. This is right before service. Um, and I just felt completely lost with what I was doing and questioning everything and like just, just, just lost. That's, that's the best term I could use right now is I just felt so lost. I felt sort of like a failure a little bit and, um, yeah, that's just how I was feeling and I have really been longing for community and fellowship um, and just people to keep me accountable with like my relationship with the Lord and um, the only person that I really have for that is my best friend Nicole and she's in Germany um, which you know it's crazy because her and I still have just such an amazing relationship and we still talk um, pretty regularly and <clears throat> I talked to you guys a little bit about friendship in my last video because someone had a question as far as like how as a stay-at-home mom who's also a military spouse do you like prioritize your mental health like what has helped you in your mental health as those two things and I mentioned friendship fellowship um, friends that you can relate to people that are there and that they actually care about you. Um, my foot just fell asleep, sorry. And so coming back home, you guys can hear how sick I am still. Um, coming back home, I thought, you know, my friends that I hadn't seen in three years who messaged me all the time, how excited they were to see me and they couldn't wait to get to know Lucas and have us home. And these are people that I've been friends with for years like total ghosts total ghosts and I'm not here to gossip about that I'm just here to say that like <laughs> since I've been home it's been weird because I've almost felt lonelier in a weird way yesterday something that I've actually really been wanting to do for a while um, my church has something called growth track and what that is is let me know in the comments if your church does the same thing but um, they basically start you off by like putting you, they try to figure out like what your gift is, what you're good at, um, because every single one of us has a gift.
some of us go our whole lives without knowing what that gift is. And I just, I don't want to feel lost anymore. I want to know myself more through the Lord. <clears throat> and so I really wanted to do this growth track. And once they figure out, you know, what it is that you are really good at doing, they put you into small groups. And these small groups, um, they do it in like semesters. So like they try to keep you accountable to coming to these gatherings and um, getting to know your community better and um, just like relating to one another, um, being able to relate to one another while also like helping and being a part of the church, which is something again I've wanted to do for, I mean since I was in Germany, I've wanted to do this. And so I'm really glad I finally put my foot um, my, my foot in the door and decided to do that even if I even if I did it by myself, you guys. And let me just tell you, I did this by myself. Don't be afraid to do things alone because if you're afraid to do things alone, you're never going to do the things that you want to do. You just won't. The only person that you can truly count on when it comes to taking a step forward is yourself. You have to push yourself. Um, and I'm really glad that I did. And um, I'm really excited for this new journey in my faith, like truly so excited about it, and Steven's super supportive about it too, um, and I'm just excited. Lucas is fussing a little bit, but I think he's gonna fall back asleep, hopefully, because that, that was barely like 30 minutes. But yeah, you guys, like, I've just been wanting for so long to be a part of something bigger than me, and just find a way to like really serve others. Um, because lately I just feel like I haven't been growing. That's really frustrating because Lucas is now awake, but Steven is taking over until I finish this video. Um, let me get back to what I was saying. YouTube is not the only way that I feel like I can help people. If anything, I feel like I've actually haven't really been doing much on this platform because I've just felt so lost within myself and not really doing, like I said, new things. Yeah, that's just where I've been in my walk of faith. That's honestly where I've been and I've been challenging myself too to be in the Word daily. And I actually started this Advent uh, devotional, which I'm really happy that I found. I'll show you guys uh, which one that it is. It's not too late to start. I'll, have to, I'll try to have this video up as soon as possible, but it's called The Journey to Christmas, and I'm on day six, and I've been on track, which is awesome. I'm really proud of myself for it, and just, um, yeah, that's, that's my faith journey right now. I think with the holidays coming up, too, life especially has just felt so overwhelming. You feel so pressured to buy, like, countless gifts and decorate your house in like the most aesthetic way and take you know holiday card pictures and basically just like spend 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 so much money so much money and um it's you know it's uh it obviously makes you feel like let down when you when you don't think you can provide in that way but somebody posted this on Instagram today and it actually made me feel so much better and I'll read it to you guys if you guys are struggling in that same area. It says, if you don't get pictures with Santa or coordinated family pic or photos at church, if you haven't started your advent calendar or planned 500 arts, crafts, baking projects with your kids, if you don't have a Pinterest worthy tree or home and you keep forgetting to move the elf, I hope you know how okay that is. Jesus is still the reason for the season and the greatest gift now and always. Any pressure you're feeling to keep up the season can be laid down and you never have to pick it back up. We are going through a season of change and uncertainty and it's felt like that for I want to say like the last year because I just remember last Christmas we were in the middle of moving from Germany back to America um, and it took it took longer than expected, which is also why it was very frustrating, because if you guys are in the military, you guys know they do not work quick unless it's something you need to give them. Um, but yeah, they don't move very quick, and there's always just so many like areas of unknown, and we had known we were where we were going to move for like months 
but the process of it alone just took forever. A big part of it was because COVID. COVID was still fairly new. Um, but yeah, that was a uh, very stressful, very, very stressful. And um, I cried a lot. <clears throat> I really did. So this is where my heart's been at, you guys. This is where it's been at. Um, and it's surprisingly, this hasn't been such a hard video to make as I thought it would be. Um, I don't know why I've been so hesitant to share these areas of my life, um, but uh, yeah, let me go in with my lip liner real quick because I can't really talk while I'm doing my lips. I also did my mascara <clears throat> off camera just to save a little bit of time, and I'm going to top it off with my lipstick. This is my favorite lipstick of all time, all time. It is from Huda Beauty. And it is the shade, the color Empress. Except I'm pretty sure Lucas broke it. He did something because it's all janky now. And I literally, I literally just bought it. I love this lip color. It's my favorite. But anyways, yes, that is what life has been like. That is what we have been dealing with. And Stephen and I have been trying so hard to like figure out a timeline for how we plan on making everything that we want in life to work out. And the truth is, we just can't. It's really up to the Lord to decide that for us because anytime we try to take control of our lives to an extent that really, we just really can't, um, it's, it's, it's known. Like, there are so many obstacles um, right now and the biggest one especially is like money. Money is a big thing and it's not something I really like to talk about on my channel um, because it just brings people in to judge and the things that we have and um, yeah it's not something I like to talk about for that reason. I'll end it off with this in case you guys didn't see my Instagram post. I said, there are so many things I can't control in my life right now while feeling a huge need to take control. So these are the things that I laid out that I need to let go and give to God. <sighs> baby number two, our second baby. Our perfect slash imperfect home. Um, money, you know, finances, stuff like that. And my husband's career change. All things that I'm gonna let go and give to God and pray pray on it religiously um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chatty get ready with me this is my final look my final sick look and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I truly do I hope it helped you in some way, that is the whole point of me making this video, truly. It's not so much for myself, but more for you guys. Um, it did help to vent a little bit, but hopefully it helps one of you guys, because that's the goal. That's the main goal. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Like always, if you've made it through the end of this video, I love you. Um, God loves you. And yeah, thank you guys so much for being here today. And uh, I will see you, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.